Hey there, this is Alicia katz Pollock, the QBO rock star at RoyalWise.com. And I specialize in using QuickBooks Online and putting it to its test and finding creative ways of using it. And so it's a Saturday and I'm working on some payroll stuff. And so I wanted to show you a report that I just ran that I thought you would find useful. So the problem that I'm trying to solve is that because I use QuickBooks Online's payroll, they pay my state and federal taxes automatically for me. And I absolutely have to make sure that I have that money available in my checking account at all times um, at the beginning of the month so that when they draw it, it comes out because I don't have any control over those dates. My state comes out like six days after the beginning of the month and my federal could be two weeks later. So I have to make sure that I've got that balance at all times. Now, when I run a standard tax payroll tax liability report, it gives me the amounts that are upcoming that are going to be due, but it doesn't give me a grand total. And so I have to sit here and in my head, go ahead and add together all of these figures in order to know what it is. And I just want to see it at a glance. I want to see something like this, where it just tells me the amount that I will owe this month on my payroll liabilities is this dollar amount. So I want to show you how I made this report. The first thing that I did is I started with a balance sheet and that gives me the grand total for the payroll liabilities, but it also includes my IRA contributions and medical contributions and other things that I'm going to be paying manually. So I only want to see the stuff that's going to be happening behind my back automatically. So the way that I'm going to make this report is I'm going to start by drilling into any one of the numbers. I'll just take the one on top, the federal taxes right there. And the first thing that it does is give me more information than I want to see. I don't want to see all of these columns and I don't want people's names on it and all of that. So I'm going to go up to the gear. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn off name. I'm going to turn off number. I'm even going to click show more. I need the memo, but I don't need the account. I don't need the split. I don't need the balance. The only thing that I really need to see here are the uh, transaction type, the date, the expense type, and the amount of it. Now, when I look at this, I can see here that I've got payroll expenses that were paid. So like my tax payments, for example, are right here. And the date range isn't right. So I'm going to start by going up to the top and I'm going to change the report period to this month so that I can keep my running tally. So that's perfect. I'll go ahead and run that report. Now I just have March. Now it also just shows me one account. So now what I'm going to do is go up to the customize button in the upper right and I want to play with my filters. I'm going to start with my distribution account. I need to see more than just the federal taxes. I want to see all of the taxes. So I'm going to scroll down and pick my all of the taxes, but I'm going to skip my any of my contributions and deductions that are things that I make in other ways. So I'm taking keeping out medical, I'm keeping out retirement, I'm just focusing on state and federal payments. So I've got all of those payroll liabilities now checked off. The other thing that I need to do is focus on the transaction type that I don't want to see the tax payments that were made during this month. So I'm going to select everything except my tax payment. So I'll scroll down and I'll take the payments off. So now I'm just seeing the accumulations, not the payments down. And I'll go ahead and run that report. So now it shows me just the money that I owe. The next thing that I want to do is collapse this report so that I'm just seeing a sub category total for each one of these. And then that makes this report short and sweet. I can see my grand total. And in fact, if I use the arrow to the left of payroll liabilities, then I just see that grand total. And that's exactly the number that I want. To make it easy for me, the next thing that I'll do is save that customization and change the generic transaction report. And I'll call this upcoming payroll taxes. Okay. And I could share it with other people. I'm just going to do this for myself. So I'll click save. Now I have that report available to me anytime that I want to. So if I head into my reports center and go to custom reports right here, I can now see my upcoming payroll taxes, get that report and simply click the triangle to keep it collapsed. And now I see at a glance exactly how much money I owe in my payroll taxes that I have to now keep in my checking account until the money is withdrawn automatically. 
So if you enjoyed this tip, I have a lot more for you. I record all kinds of QuickBooks online training classes and videos, and you can find us at learn.royalwise.com. If you liked this video, click the bell to subscribe and get notifications about when I post additional ones. And when you come to learn.royalwise.com, I have classes on reports. I have classes on payroll. I have classes on all kinds of back knowledge that you need. If you looked at this video and you thought it was interesting, but you're like, I don't understand the basics, come on in and learn from me. And even if you're more advanced, I have advanced topics too. So again, my name is Alicia Katz-Pollock at learn.royalwise.com and I will see you in class.